Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and we are doing Vulture Manor. This is episode, what, 90... 900... 105? Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Yeah, 105. I think I got that right this time. I think I'm getting better at counting the episodes on the fly. I think I'm getting better at it. I think I am. Let's try and do a... Let's try and do an, an accent for this episode, okay? For the whole episode, we're gonna talk with an accent, okay? I don't like this area. For this whole, whole entire episode, we're going to talk with a bit of an accent. So we're going to talk a bit like this, with a bit of an accent here, and then we're just going to pretend like this is what I talk like. It's not really, but I think that if I did it, then I could confuse some people and make them think that I, I, I do talk like this. But the thing is, I don't really know like the slang from the area. I feel like my accent's pretty good though, but I feel like I don't know the slang, so I can't pass this... Uh, Wherever this is from, so. Cause I feel like I should be saying like bloody and, and all this other stuff, right? But I don't really, I don't really know what it is, so I don't do it. And I'm not actually gonna talk like that for the whole episode. I tricked you, I fooled you, made you, made you leave the video and never come back. Oh, burn! Haha, -ha, I was only pretending. That was a perfect bash. Did you see that bash? Just for some. Payback. Okay. Bash him in the back. You know, a little pat on the back. Good for you. Nice try. Get him next time. Bashing is so good, man. I've gotten a lot better at using it, too. Because it's so good. It's such a useful tool at your disposal. I've talked about it before, but, like, it's really useful is the thing I mean not even for reload canceling but just in general you just walk up to something bash it and it's like oh my goodness I wasn't expecting that what am I supposed to do now it's great I love it I really hate the underground of Ultra Manor though this place sucks I would never camp down here this place is awful S like small corridors it's just it's 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 a bad look all around, you know. It's real bad. It's not a good it's not a good thing that we got going on here. Let's get my deagles. We are getting out of here before we skip re the the trader. Hello. What on earth is this? See ya. I died here before too, cause it was boom. And I was trying to go up here, cause the trader ended while we were all down there, and then um. <laughs> Don't go up this place in the... In uh... Why did we go the other way? Why did it tell me? Like, this way would have been way faster, I think. <sighs> Good water. Another thing that's bad, so we talked about the... The um... Like, cow impact on the environment. Right? We're gonna be we're gonna we're going environmentalist now, okay? The other thing that's super bad is all this like one single use plastics. We was watching a, a video about like Korea or something, like this cafe over in Korea. And like the amount of plastic generated in that video was just They had these bottles that they put like smoothies into, they were plastic. And then they put these caps on it. I'm like, just like, make it like a paper cup or something. Like, you know, it's not that big a deal. Like, I, I hate cardboard straws, okay? I hate cardboard straws. I'm on, I'm with you on that. Cardboard straws are not the solution. Um, they're not. They are not the solution to, uh, to pollution and waste and microplastics and, and all of this. Like, they're not, they're not the solution. I don't use them. Um, metal straws are the solution. Um, and if they can manufacture like a cardboard straw that doesn't taste horrible, like maybe, maybe then it will be okay, you know. But they, uh, so far, they've not done that. That has not been done. I cannot see what I am doing. Spray and pray! I can't see anything. Toss a nade. Why not? 
I just gotta get out of here, find somewhere else to go. I don't like being inside in Vulture Manor. Um, so we're gonna wanna go get outside. Um, Single-use plastics, yeah, they're bad. The straws suck, though. The, the cardboard straws, I hate those. I have metal straws here. We have, uh, my sister bought them, actually. Um, we use metal straws. So, whenever we need a straw, we use those. We actually take them with us places, too, because we hate those cardboard straws so much. Um, they're just awful. But, metal straws are great. I like them. We've got, uh... I've got my own chopsticks that I use when I order out, so I don't have to, like... Because some places will give you... Most places will give you wooden chopsticks. Wooden chopsticks and, like, little paper thingies that you can fold up to make, like, a chopstick stand, right? That's that's the, the normal thing. Some places will send you this little, like, weird plastic chopstick fork, spork, spoon thing. Uh, not into that. So I always say, like, don't bother. Same with, like, spoons, like, forks and knives. When you're ordering delivery... Why do you need to get cutlery? Why do you need cutlery delivered to you? You have cutlery. Okay? Just use it. Like, why are people ordering, like, a rest, like, food from a restaurant? Or, okay, you're, like, let me, I just want to get in the mindset here, okay? So you're ordering food. Okay? You're sitting down. You're ordering food. You're like, ah, oh, man. I don't really want to cook tonight, I don't really want to clean up, you know. Okay? You're, you're ordering food. You're, uh... You, you pick your restaurant, okay? You're going, to, you're going to White Spot. Not a sponsor, but, uh... Yay, if you're, if you all are watching, like, hit me up. I will, uh, I'll take a sponsor from White Spot. I like White Spot. <laughs> um, so you're, you're, like, ordering from White Spot. You're like, man, you know what, you, you're good right now? Like some some cod fish and chips. I don't like halibut fish and chips. Cod fish and chips way better. I don't get to eat it all that often though, because my uh, my mother's allergic to cod, like super allergic. So if we like order, so she'll order halibut fish and chips, and then I'll order cod fish and chips, right? Then you don't know well which one's the cod and which one's the halibut, right? Like once they're like once they're fried, you can't really tell the difference. Before they're put in the fryer, I can I can tell which one's which. But once they're in the fryer, they look the same. Um, anyway. You're ordering some cod fish and chips. You're like, man, this is going to be so good. Don't have to do any dishes. Ah, oh, but cutlery. I really don't want to have to wait until tomorrow for the next set of dishes that I do anyway to just toss the cutlery into the dishwasher. I said I wouldn't go underground, and I have been pushed underground. I am very unhappy about this... Uh, entire situation um so so you just you're, you're so lazy is is the moral of the story that you don't even want to wash like a fork like you know how long it takes to wash a fork it takes like a minute to wash to wash one fork in in the sink like by hand with like a, a cloth or a, a scrub brush or something like it is it is seriously not a big time investment. You are you are contributing to this like plastic waste stuff because you don't want to spend two minutes washing a, like a fork and a knife. You know, that's just that's insane to me. Like just use your own cutlery. You know, you don't have to be an environmentalist. You don't have to to worry about you know like okay well I don't want to use plastic bags at the store you don't have to worry about using plastic straws or cardboard straws but like if you're ordering delivery you're eating it at your house anyway where you have cutlery just use your own cutlery I don't get it I don't get it cloak said where hello okay so that's that's my my ramble on uh On plastic cutlery in a store you know if you're going to like McDonald's or something like that and you get plastic cutlery like okay what are they supposed to do like use cardboard cutlery actually there is a store that does that um, there is a, a McDonald's store that does that they talked about it in our like training thing there's this uh, super eco-friendly one that has 
only recyclable things being used in it. So there's no single-use plastics in use at all there. Clean up on aisle seven. <clears throat> or something like that anyway. It is purely recyclable, reusable um, stuff. So very environmentally friendly. Uh, and it's all, it's like where they test their, um, all their stuff for seeing like what kinds of environmentally friendly things actually work and uh, work well enough to be used in all of the stores. Um, right now they're working on, uh, or at least when I was working at McDonald's, uh, they were working on like uh, a cardboard straw that doesn't taste bad and doesn't like suck. I mean, it sucks, but sucks in a good way, you know, because that's the other thing with the cardboard straws is they don't suck as well. They suck worse, <laughs> which sucks. Um, <laughs> so they uh, they have like that thing, which is kind of cool. Like they're like they yeah, it's just it's entirely like cardboard, paper, all all uh, all recyclable, reusable materials, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, like if you're going to McDonald's or something like that, and you're you're eating your poutine and you get a plastic fork to eat with it, like that's one thing, okay? You're at the store, you don't have your own cutlery, okay? Use the plastic fork to your heart's contents, okay? If you're ordering poutine to your house, just use your own dang fork. Ain't that big a deal. Wow, I didn't think I killed that many things over here that there was gonna be a big explosion of corpses all over the place, but I guess I did. What do I know, hey? About what I'm doing. I should I should know all of what I'm doing. I should be the uh, the primary source of information on what I'm doing, in fact. Not specifically, you know, the primary source of information on Killing Floor 2, but specifically the primary source of information on specifically what I am specifically doing. You know, not help for the thing that I'm doing, but to help you understand what I'm doing. I should be the primary source of information on that. That's not a bad route to take, actually. Okay, never mind. Apparently, it's horrible and we're gonna die. Please, just shoot him in the chest. Just once. All I ask for is one shot to the chest. Ah. Uh, I still don't have an opportunity to... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna win one of these Hell and Earth runs at some point. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. Got a little overwhelmed and then uh, just couldn't bring it back. But hey, you know, what you gonna do? I'm not gonna get better unless I die a bunch, right? Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.